hi everyone how you can choose any processed food which is healthy so basically we will discuss on uh, how you can read a uh, food level hello everyone welcome to wellness munch do you ever read the food level before you buy any particular uh, food products highlighted fancy words on the food products are often very very misleading okay how can you choose a processed food which is healthy if you are a regular viewer of wellness munch you know i am against of any kind of processed food but it is true that processed food makes our life much more easy there is no denial in it right if you have an access of a packaged food a processed food it becomes easy we are all busy we don't have time always to cook any food from the scratch then um, at times you really feel like you know we need some convenience that is true now you need to understand and you need to educate yourself how can you make your life easy but still make a better choice in terms of choosing any processed food first thing first always make a habit of reading the level the major problem is we never ever read the level we always go by the advertisement and what they claim okay so make sure that you start reading the level which is not at the front of the product but at the back of the product so make this habit very clearly that you will start reading the back of the product you know at the front all the key phrases will be written highlighted way right they will use colors so that that grab your attention but the back is very pale they use dark color on top they use with black ink so life becomes very difficult to read that what is there the smallest possible font and it's very difficult to read i understand that but still you have to make an effort to read the level what exactly you have to read number 1 read the ingredient list okay and number 2 always check the serving size let me start with the ingredient list first lesser is better if the ingredient list is too long if there are so many articles and the first two three you know and the rest you don't know various names of chemicals and preservatives and additives and you know uh, blah 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 then presume that the food is bad if it is a good processed food ingredient list should be very small now it's best if you can have one ingredient it is difficult then no, two to three maximum four ingredients if the ingredient list has more than four names on it it is bad okay so always remember lesser the better now generally the way they write ingredient list the first ingredient is very important flip it check what is the first ingredient most of the cases the first ingredient is refined flour if the first ingredient is refined flour that means the bread is nothing but refined flour okay because generally the ingredient lists are made the first ingredient is uh, which contains the maximum percentage of the final product then the second name will be the little less one third one will be little less so basically in the concentration of ingredients they place the ingredient list so the first 3 to 4 names are very very important if the biscuit packet flip it out and see if the first ingredient is refined sugar or refined flour you know what is it forget about everything what this uh, biscuit is claiming enriched with vitamins or it is light it has high fiber what not if the first ingredient is refined flour or refined sugar then you know what exactly you are having so lesser the better and always read the first four ingredients okay now the next one is a serving size most of us where we actually fool ourselves is we check the calorie how will you uh, check the calorie there is written right uh, this amount of the serving size has 175 calorie for example your corn flakes okay your corn flakes if it is written 175 calorie see what is the serving size if they write it is only for 30 g 30 g of the corn flakes has 175 calorie you are going by only 175 probably you are thinking i can have 1800 calorie or 1200 calorie or 1400 calorie 175 calorie is nothing it's very light it is not if it is only 30 g that means it is just one handful or 
uh, to break it even easier it is just two tablespoon now you tell me do you have cornflakes two tablespoon in the morning or you have a medium bowl of cornflakes and then you pour milk on top so that means only 30 gram has uh, 175 calorie generally people have 100 gram or 90 gram for example now you multiply it with three and understand how much of calorie you are just getting from that uh, complex right so always check the serving size most of the time we see we check the back and we often ignore the serving size we believe the entire packet has this much of calorie this much of protein this much of fat or blah blah but where is the reality is there is a serving size which has been mentioned most shocking is um, generally generally all this processed food the first if you see the first four ingredients common is refined flour refined sugar refined oil or soya oil or vegetable oil or uh, hydrogenated partially hydrogenated oil or something like that and then they will start um, putting all the names of chemicals which you have no clue what are they okay so or they will use dextrose maltose sorbitol mannitol um, high fructose corn syrup kind of that so basically various names of sugar okay always be careful check the ingredient list if the ingredient list is small it's the best and check the serving size when you're going for a grocery shopping weekly basis and you are trying to make your life little easy try to get frozen food now i know people might argue with me that frozen food has compromised vitamins and minerals level but understand instead of having those ready to cook food it is way more better because most of the time we struggle to chop the food suppose you need to make some quick evening snack you need to chop the vegetables it will take time right so if you have an access of frozen vegetables or something like that uh, easily you can make the process much faster right so that's why go for frozen vegetables to make your life easy always try to get um, you know processed food which has very less ingredient one or two or maybe three that's all right this way you can actually make a healthy change and of course at the end you have to fall in love with your kitchen there is no way out make your kitchen healthy uh, you know use stainless steel containers avoid plastic as much as possible use non-refined oil avoid refined sugar as much as possible refine flour as much as possible then life is going to be better I guess this session was useful if it was uh, helpful please show some love to us if you have any queries any doubts related to any food products please write to us um, give us the question we will be happy to answer stay happily healthy bye